A very desperate situation is taking place on the South Pacific island of Tonga this morning. Not only has there been a massive underwater volcano explosion just to the north of the island causing some pretty decent waves. And I'm not kidding my friends, look at our tsunami dart system chart. We've got multiple tsunami buoys all in activation mode stretching all the way up to Alaska. Some of the images and videos coming out of this area are absolutely unbelievable. By far one of the biggest biggest shockwaves I've ever seen come out of an explosion. I'm going to break down the information on this situation in the South Pacific Ocean. Look at these tsunami buoys. Unbelievable. We're going to break it all down right here, right now. Let's go. My friends, welcome back. It is January 15th, 2022, 9.30 a.m. And just overnight last night, around 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the unthinkable happened. Now, it's one thing to know about volcanoes you live near. For example, La Palma, Mount St. Helens. These volcanoes can be seen and monitored at any given time. Now, imagine having one of these volcanoes under the water where it cannot be seen and monitored and then have it explode just before nightfall, causing a tsunami. Well, the South Pacific island of Tonga is dealing with exactly that. This is an ongoing situation just basically hitting the mainstream media here in the U.S. right now. Take a look at this. We can see this visually from space. These snapshots are absolutely unbelievable, and here is the beginning of that concussion wave. This wave shoots off frame. Very, very rare to see anything like this take place in the ocean, let alone in front of an island. We are beginning to understand how and why Tonga was hit with multiple tsunamis. Just as the day is ending, we can see nighttime starting to bleed through the South Pacific Ocean. We're going to go backwards and take a look at this again, frame by frame. Just an unbelievable situation taking place and still ongoing. Keep in mind, we have tsunami buoys that are activated all the way up by Alaska. That's how massive this concussion was. It basically shook the earth like a bell. Here are two very interesting images spreading across the internet of this explosion and the concussion wave. I just want to read you some details about this very quickly. A tsunami has hit Tonga largest island and reportedly sent waves flooding into the capital after an underwater volcano in the South Pacific exploded in a violent eruption on Saturday, sending a cloud of ash and gas steaming into thin air. Satellite imagery shows a massive ash cloud and shockwave spreading from the eruption. A tsunami warning has been issued for the islands of Tonga and New Zealand. Residents were seen heading for higher ground as waves swept through the palace grounds, waterfront, and main street. Now listen to this. A second eruption hit on Saturday. Saturday at 5.26 p.m. local time, Australia's Bureau of Meteorology said it recorded a tsunami wave of 1.2 meters or about 4 feet around 5.30 p.m. local time on Saturday. The Pacific Tsunami Warning Center said tsunami waves of 2.7 feet were observed by gauges and waves of 2 feet were witnessed at Pago Pago, the capital of American Samoa. The volcano is located about 30 kilometers southeast of Tonga's most northern island. In addition to the tsunami warnings, Tonga's meteorology Service had issued advisories for heavy rain, flash flooding, and strong winds inland and coastal waters. Now, I want to be clear, you're going to be able to see footage and posts about this all over the internet. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself with posting footage of the waves and stuff like that with the copyright stuff, but while we're letting things sort out here, let's take a look at how many buoys this set off. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different tsunami buoys stretching across the entire western Pacific Ocean. This is thousands of miles that a volcano right in this area here set off causing a chain reaction of activated buoys all the way up to Alaska. Now I'm going to mention something here. If there was a wave heading up towards Alaska... Of course, we'd be able to watch it kind of domino its way up the Western Pacific until it got to Alaska, but we wouldn't even know about it until around 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be leaving links to the info I have collected so far this morning. I'm sure a lot more will be out just in the next few hours. But my friends, nonetheless, there is a huge situation taking place in the South Pacific Ocean, north of Tonga. Just another situation Earth has thrown at us to monitor and check out. Certainly not something you see every day and of this magnitude, rarely ever. My friends, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Questions or concerns, leave down below. Shout out to Canada, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all, and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.